Let us start a 50 day challenge of learning generative AI in the most easiest way. And today is day one in the journey. We are going to start from the very basics to extremely advanced topics in generative AI. So today let us walk through the evolution of AI from perceptrons to large language models. Going back to 1957, Frank Rosenblatt created the first smart computer called a perceptron. It was very simple. You could only ask it yes or no questions. You might show it a picture and ask, is this a cat? It would draw a straight line to make its decision. That was all it could do. But coming forward to 1980s, scientists found the problem. They thought one brain cell, which is the perceptron, was not enough. They connected many artificial neurons together. This created neural networks. It was like having a group conversation instead of talking to one person. When the network made mistakes, all the neurons learned together. This process was called backpropagation. It meant learning from errors. Now computers could recognize handwriting. They could tell different faces apart. Coming further to 2000s, things got more interesting and deep. Scientists started stacking neural networks on top of each other. This created deep learning. Think about learning to ride a bike. First, you learn the balance. Then you learn the acceleration. Then you learn the steering. Each skill builds on the last one. Deep neural networks work the same way. Each layer learns something more complex than the layer before it. So the understanding builds up step by step. Coming further to 2017, the transformer revolution, a game changing paper came out called attention is all you need. It introduced the concept called transformers, which transformed everything. Before this AI went word by word, left to right, but transformers use something called the attention mechanism. Imagine reading an entire book and instantly connecting any word to any other word. This is what attention does. It gives AI superpowers for understanding the language context. Today, if the generative AI creates everything, these models do not just understand things, they create new things. We have large language models like GPT that can write. We have diffusion models that make art. We have multi-model AI that handles text, images, videos, and more. It is like going from someone who can taste food to a chef who can invent new recipes. Here is the amazing part. Nobody taught them creativity. They figured it out on their own through emergent abilities and through massive data training and labeling. We went from simple perceptrons to neural networks to deep learning to transformers to today's generative AI. This is 70 years of pure innovation. These technical terms might sound scary, but they are just building blocks that led to the AI revolution. What is that one coolest AI thing you have tried? Let me know in the comments and hit follow for more AI terms that actually make sense. I'll see you in the episode two of learning generative AI.